In this segment, we're going to go over monitoring Kafka with JMX. The first thing you're going to want to do to enable JMX in Kafka is you're going to want to export the JMX port. So in this case, we're going to export port 9999. And then we'll go ahead and start up our Kafka server. Okay, so now that's up and running. Let's just go ahead and use jconsole. Just come up and ask us what we want to connect to. And we'd like to connect to Kafka. It's okay, we have an insecure connection. Okay, so you see the basic stuff you're used to seeing, heap memory, threads, classes, CPU. Okay, you see the VM summary. All the stuff you're used to seeing if you've used jconsole at all for monitoring Java applications. So we look at this for Kafka. You can see there's a bunch of just the regular JVM stuff. And here's some things with Kafka. There's a lock for J controller. There's information about the cluster. Things that are under-replicated. Here's a topic I have that's called test. You can see the names of it. Okay, the various attributes. So all sorts of good stuff that you can see here. You can see common app info. Okay, the version. Okay, I'm running 8.2.0. You can see interesting stuff about the server. Okay, responses being sent. It's none right now. I don't have anything reading from it. So you can start to see all sorts of things. Here's the rate, the network processor, average idle. So you could use JConsole or you could use any other tool that you want that's going to use JMX metrics. So this is one way that you can monitor Kafka. Remember, you're going to want to export that JMX port in order to be able to have access to all these metrics. And in this case, they're considered M-beans.